Hi everyone and good afternoon from Milan, Italy. In, we're in the city for about, we got a full day tomorrow and the day we have a kind of a late afternoon evening to explore the city. I'm excited, there's some cool history stuff we're gonna check out here and a lot of food and drink. I know that's what you're so most excited So much for. food, I'm so excited. We have never been to Italy, uh, getting off the plane this afternoon, that's the first time we have stepped foot on Italian soil, so definitely excited to eat our way through the city and mm -hmm. check out some cool stuff too. Let's go explore Milan. We are pretty hungry, so we're gonna start off with like the most Italian Italian dish and getting some pasta. And we've got our food. It was kind of like a fast casual restaurant. Mm -hmm. I got the nochi pasta. We got a couple of local beers as well. And Molly, how's yours? You've been excited about carbonara here in Italy for a long time. It's really good. And uh, relatively inexpensive for the touristy area. This was 28 euros for two beers and two pasta. There's a big statue for Leonardo da Vinci out here in front of the Opera House. The gallery is one of the most famous parts of Milan. A very fancy, very beautiful shopping area for very much highbrow stores. And in the same area is a museum for Leonardo da Vinci, which we're gonna go check out now. The museum, I think, focuses on uh, Leonardo da Vinci's many inventions. Like this one's a multi-cannon gunship. And they've got interactives where like Molly is putting it together if it was like a Lego set. This one is fascinating. This is a model of one of da Vinci's plans for a robot soldier that was made back in the 1500s. So, uh, an, an, er and ropes. an early days Terminator. Lots of really cool stuff in this room. A whole bunch of large flying machines, all different types and ideas. And also a mechanical lion. Room here is dedicated to all the crazy music ideas he invented, like this one, the musical canon. And there are also rooms for The Last Supper and stuff for Mona Lisa as well. Oh my gosh, look at that. They also had a VR, like... Yeah, a couple of VR attractions. Yeah. Da Vinci Museum was pretty neat. Um, not a very big museum. We were in there for probably a half an hour, 45 minutes. It cost 14 euros to get in. The Galleria, the covered arcade shopping area, is absolutely beautiful. Totally reminds me of, uh, you know, some of the mega hotels out in Las Vegas. Yes, it does. It's very pretty, and I can't afford anything or want to go into any of the shops. But it's nice to look at. Yeah. Uh, this store has got a, a naked man wearing a fancy jacket who's been stabbed with not one, but two different lightsabers. Right in the main square, stopped at something called Panzerati Lunini. This was on every food tour that we ever saw on YouTube. Yes, and it's like a pizza pocket. Mm -hmm. um, we got one with, I think it's mozzarella cheese, prosciutto, ham, okay. maybe one more meat in there. Also got a donut and a soda. And it only came out to seven euros, so this place is really cheap. Here's a shot of the inside, and yeah, that's a really good, it's a snack. Probably have two of them make a meal. Now the later it gets, the less options there are. Yeah, I think there were two options right now, and in the menu there's like 15. We have now made it to the middle of the Galleria, and it's it's very pretty here. Really impressive. We got some murals and a big glass dome. The architecture is gorgeous. And there are a ton of people here. Oh, while walking around the Galleria, we saw there a sign for Observatory Lounge, and that's not something I would pass up. Love the view. Great people watching up here. Mm -hmm. And uh, they gave us like complimentary snacks. It's like nuts, potato chips. Some, I think it was an olives. Olives, yeah. Uh, we got an Italian beer and a Franza counter Hepweiser. And this was like 12 euros combined. Really good deal. And the pastries look really oh good. Oh my god, the pastries look so good. We just took a subway ride here in Milan to get over to the Navigli area of town, which is this really cute area with the uh, river running through the middle of it, lots of bars and restaurants and shops as well. Very pretty. Yeah. This, this one sounds good. So this place is about the size of a closet, but they got some nice beer. I'm drinking a Belgian triple. Uh, Molly's got a white IPA, and it's about six dollars, six euros each for the beer. So uh, the new Beagle class beer was about the size of a closet, but you can just take your beers to go. So we're now hanging out here, right by the river, enjoying the breeze. It's a very, very hot day in Italy today, so the, the breeze feels pretty good, and the beer tastes really good. 
Oh Look at oh, this dog. Really he's the size of a small bear. And he's so fluffy. And he's got another friend. While wandering the river area, we, we stumbled into Gin 012. It's gorgeous in here. Yes, it's actually a micro distillery. Um, they're open, unfortunately, not on Mondays. But they when have, we're here. Yeah. But they've got a gin bar. And like the cocktails are beautiful. Molly got something called a lily bath, which is, I think, 10 euros. And I I saw this on the menu, I had to try it. I had the Mai Dai. Their take on a gin-based Mai Tai, it's got gin, overproof rum, bourbon whiskey, and it's actually good, and it tastes like a Mai Tai. It's really weird. And you get so many free snacks. They distill 25 gins, they said? Yeah. This section of town is rather pretty. The sun is going down here in Italy, which is nice because it's finally cooling off. It is. With some really great views of this area. Uh, we're debating our next part, like go try and find dinner or go to a craft brewery. What will win? Find it in the next clip. All right, uh, five dollar takeaway cocktails. We have to try it. So neither actually won the brewery or no. the dinner. We got a five dollar Long Island that uh, looks like a rum and coke. Doesn't taste like a Long Island, but there is a there was a dog in there. So that, yeah, close. yeah. Look at him. He's resting his head on the table, but when you called him cute, he barked. Yeah. He didn't like that. And unfortunately, my camera doesn't like focusing on him. There he is. Oh, now, now I got his attention again. While wandering the district here, we did find this at a couple different bars. They'll have, you order a drink for like 14 euros or 17 euros for a different drink. And while you're there drinking it, you get an open buffet of food. Interesting concept. We've seen this at two or three bars. So you might think these are just pedestrian streets. They are not. Cars have gone down like multiple times. And it's difficult to get into their little car holes up. Watch out, Molly. Got a dude over there just singing opera with a lady playing the keyboard. Uh, found a couple more of these all you can eat with a drink for 12 euros bars. This one themed to like Alice in Wonderland. It's very pretty. And this one, I'm not really sure. It looks like um, very popular American pop culture kind of stuff. We got none other than Homer J. Simpson. Uh, Hedwig is back there. Spider Man. And I think in the back is Bumblebee. Enjoying a couple of uh, nice big Italian beers. Actually, the same Blondale we had at the Observation Lounge. I will say, if you are sitting out here on the street, you will have people coming up trying to sell you stuff. Like every every minute or two, it gets kind of annoying. Don't sit in the front. I think we're gonna go grab a, uh, a one final beverage here in the Irish pub, just off the canal. Also, be aware that if you're hanging out by the river at night, you get bit. I will say this pub is absolutely adorable. It's really cute. I believe they do like live music on the weekends, probably a couple of nights. We're here on Monday, so we don't have any of that. A uh, nice draft beer list, not too much, like probably 10 options on there. I'm drinking a nice Belgian beer. Molly's got a, a local beer. Got an order of the Arancini for about 6.50 or so. But a very kind of funky bar. Like I love the decor, especially over here. I, I had to pick up the camera and walk over. Look at this table with like the big tree underneath it. That is neat. So thumbs up to this place. Good morning. It is our second day here in Milan, our full day here in Milan. And we're beginning our adventures today at the most famous thing in Milan. And that is the Duomo, which is the giant, giant cathedral. I think it's one of the biggest in the entire world. They're very old, very pretty. And what we're excited about, you can go up on the roof. Like you see people up there. And that's where we're heading. We have now made it up to the rooftop. Pretty cool being all the way up here. Um, we did buy our tickets online to go to up the elevator. Um, there's another ticket that I think you have to walk up, and that would that would probably not be the funnest. Look at the gargoyles. Those are yeah. really cute. Like dragon. We do get some pretty snazzy views from up here. Enjoying this view as you get to see a lot of the a lot of the statues that are on top of the 
the towers. Tell you what, guys, on the list of places I would not expect to find a souvenir press penny machine, a uh, roof of a church would definitely be on there. We're now in a different and prettier section of the rooftop. Look at this that. This is where you come up if you had the stair. You get some cool uh, like juxtaposition stuff. We're, we're on this really old church, but then if you look over there, it's like a mega skyscraper. Like a very, very modern pointy skyscraper. And then this weird looking apartment building covered in plants. Yeah, it's like the Boss Bosco, I think it's called, or something like that. It was on my list of maybe to do. With the Duomo being a super old building, it's no surprise that a lot of it is under restoration projects, as if you don't take care of something like this, it will fall apart, and that will be bad. Um, we're now at the kind of the very top, and it's pretty cool up here. The kind of place where if it wasn't a tourist attraction, it would be like somewhere Batman would hang out. Yes. Spider-Man. And here's a better view of the, the modern Milan skyline. Uh, now in the main cathedral area, just be advised there is a strict dress code. Uh, Molly could not come in with her kind of tank toppy thing. She's gonna take a quick peek and then try to find her outside. So that was the church. If you did go into the big cathedral via the main entrance and you were in an outfit like Molly's, they would have given you like a paper dress. Yeah, it looks that's what they call it. It looks ridiculous, but uh, you could be able to go in, which is nice. If you have short shorts, you have to do that too. Yeah, it looks kind of weird, but at least you, you get let in. Now, somewhere else. Lunchtime, we went to a famous uh, sandwich place. Sort of like big, wide panini rolls. We got the number four, added some fresh mozzarella, um, some sort of ham, two different types of cheese. Looks really good. And it wasn't too expensive either. This sandwich was pretty big. And uh, two cartons of hilarious looking water <laughs> was 13 euros 80. I'm excited for that sandwich. Also, there's like a, a, a potato paste and some other sort of crema on there. One of our way to our next destination, we passed by Abbey Stuff, or Abbey Style Full Stuff. Kind of like a pop culture, kind of a nerd store, but they had some really, really neat stuff. Uh, one of my favorite things in the store, they had a, a mug in the shape of the doorknob from Alice in Wonderland. One thing when you're walking around Milan, the streets are absolutely tiny, and then the sidewalks even tinier. Not somewhere I would want to <laughs> rent a car, that's for sure. Uh, grabbing a quick beverage here at Bar Magenta before our next stop. Molly went with one of their draft beers. And I figured, you know what, I'm in Italy. I'm gonna get some sparkling wine. Next up in Milan is the Cinecolo Bassiano. Now this is going to be the museum for the, the famous Last Supper painting. This is something you need to buy your tickets for in advance and they sell out a lot. Now spots do open up, so yes. definitely Keep if they do sell out, like if you look like a week or two in advance and they're sold out. You know, look again, you know, every day, keep checking on it. And that's what we're waiting for now. All right, there's no video in the Last Supper Museum, which is really just, you go in, you see the picture and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not really into like old timey art or religion and stuff like that, but it was cool to see like one of the most famous paintings in the history of mankind. On a wall? Yeah, and it's big too, it's really big. Giant, and I've seen the Mona Lisa and that was disappointing. This one lived up more to what the reputation is. Yeah. Uh, it, you it, do get 15 minutes in there. Mm -hmm. They do try to usher you in, usher you out. You can leave when you want to, but at 15 minutes they say everyone out. Mm -hmm. Also, a surprising amount of Disney-related Da Vinci stuff in the gift shop. <laughs> We're now at the Arco de la Paz, or I think that might be how you pronounce it. I'm obviously not Italian, so my pronunciations are wrong. I do apologize, but it is a, a very, very pretty, a very European style arch. Some cool statues towards the top. And this is located right at the entrance to one of the larger parks here in Milan and home to the big castle. I, I have no idea what we wandered into. So we made the long hot walk from the arch side of the park 
to the castle side of the park. And the long hot walk is the reason why I did not wear the appropriate outfit for the church. It was worth the, uh, the take top. Now close to the castle and you can see what was kind of a moat and a big old timey castle. It's a neat castle, kind of like forecourt area. Now, to just come and wander around the castle, I believe it is free. There might be some museum areas, or if you want to take a guided tour, that might cost some money. If you want to just come and walk around in the park, walk around the castle. No cost. Some cool statues hung up in this section of the castle. This here is definitely the prettiest part of the castle. The big elaborate entrance, the cool turrets, and then something that's very interesting. It looks like they do concerts here in the castle. Like, that's yeah, really neat. Some cool giant modern art on the street. I got it's in kind of two halves. <laughs> it's neat old thread. Seeing as it is roughly a bazillion degrees outside, we're gonna stop here at Chocolat Milano for, for some nice frozen gelato. I'm so excited. So many choices. It looks like cake better. Oh my. Our main way of getting around here in Milan has been the subway system. And it's uh, very easy to navigate, pretty inexpensive. Uh, thumbs up for me. Uh, one thing I always do is we, we don't have like cell phone service is always screenshot the city subway system. It helps so much when you're off and you're like, okay, where's the closest yeah. subway station to how to get to point A to point B, Wi-Fi. So Molly, we might get a little heat for this, but something I love doing when we go to a foreign country is check out their McDonald's. I don't always need to order something, but I like to go and see the different menu items. Uh, we just got, actually, it's a million degrees here in Italy. We're not planning on this, but uh, they're, we're going to some theme parks in the middle of the country the next couple days, and they have water parks. And we're, we weren't planning on going. And McDonald's, if you buy a Happy Meal or like a, a value meal, you can get a Minions beach towel for two euros 30. So guess who's going to the water park? Yeah. It's a million degrees. And then we um, we just got the kids meal. We were very hungry. And uh, the kids meal a little bit different. First of all, you get a full-size bottle of water, which is really nice. And then instead of get, getting like apple slices like in America, you could get a Parmesan cheese cube. And uh, I guess over here, they've already switched over to the the cardboard put together toys instead of the plastic toys. Mm -hmm. I believe the American ones are gonna do that. January? Uh, yeah, I think. the January. Plus these beach towels, look how awesome they are. And we got that one, which is totally the one I wanted, of Disco Minion. Really like this craft beer bar. Currently at Fair Bueno Beer, which is like good beer drinking. Um, they got an incredible craft beer selection. The mural is insanely fun. And I look at this craft beer selection, especially in the bottles and cans. They have like three fridges full of just awesome stuff. All reasonably priced. Most of your bottles and cans are all six euros or less. Having a great time in here. Just walked about 15 minutes to another pub we were recommended, Lambic Zone. They have burgers and stuff in here, but they specialize in sour beers and Lambic beers, and that's super unique. The place is very cool, very unique. They've got about probably, probably 15 to 20 on draft. And then they have like 150 in the bottles and cans. Good stuff. Especially if you're into like sour beers and lambics. My friends, this is amazing. I probably drank thousands of beers in a lot of different bars in my time. The first time I've ever ordered a beer and it's served with its own pouring basket. Like mine just, it's empty now, but you would lift it up. And four. Oh, it's not empty. Surprise, surprise. That's so cool. I mean, we couldn't come to Italy without getting some pizza. It was a hard decision, though. Pizza or well, sit-down pasta? We decided some pizza. We already had a little bit of pasta, so we're going to get some pizza at Pizza AM. The pizza came out super duper fast. It looks amazing. We are sharing the traditional, the traditional margarita pizza. But they give you sparkling wine. Yeah, when like you sit welcome down? gift, and then bread with like cheese and, and spinach. spinach, which is part of their uh, specialty pizza. But the real pizza, it smells great. 
during our stay here in Milan, we were at the Ramada. Uh, we cashed in a bunch of window points to stay here. A big hotel, good air conditioning, giant room. That was nice. Uh, big fancy shower, but the shower never stayed one temperature. It would vary between very cold and very hot. And kind of weird, there were two toilets. And that one, I believe, is a urinal. Um, at first, I thought it was a bidet, but there's nothing that sprays upward. The room was very, very big. Very nice. Um, at the time we cashed in the points, they only had two single beds, so that was a, a little bit weird. Yeah, it worked. But what was even weirder was that the, the room is clearly for two people, but then you get this balcony that's made for about 20 people. <coughs> that is a little strange. All right, that was Milan. A uh, fun day and a half. Molly, what was your highlights? I definitely like the rooftop. That was really good, and then the gelato was delicious. I was gonna say, for me, definitely the food. Mm -hmm. uh, the food was awesome. Yeah, everything we ate, great. All right, we gotta go hop on a train to Gardenland. Thank you for watching this video. Comment below if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.